So we're here in lesson six of Nitro 4.2, and they simply want us to write a program that will print odd numbers from one to 100. So I'm guessing that really means from one to 99. So we're gonna start with the for loop. There's several ways to get this done, but um, the easiest is probably to start with a for loop and start your counter at one instead of the usual um, zero, start it at one, go up to less than uh, 100, and then let's do a plus equals two. So we're going to increment by two every time. And that should get it done. If you start at an odd number and you add two every time, you're going to stay on the odd numbers. So there's all of the odd numbers from 1 to 99. Um, another way you can make this happen is you could say for int i equals 0 and then i less than, I want to say 49, I think, i plus plus. And then on your print statement, you could print i times 2 plus 1. So when i is 0, 0 times 2 is 0 plus 1 is 1. When i is 1, 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 is 3. I think this will also get you all of the odd numbers. Uh, I needed to go up to, I need to include 49, so I need to go up to 50 to make that happen. So 1 through 99, and then again, odd numbers, 1 through 99. So like I said, there's a variety of ways of making that happen. And they only want one of them if I'm going to check the code, I think. All right, on to the next lesson. Next lesson for Nitro 4.2.7, repeat something 100 times. So, system.out.println, hello, Carol. So we could, of course, do that 100 times, but that would totally miss the point of writing for loops. For i equals 0, i less than 100, i plus plus, and bring this up here, print hello carol 100 times. System dot out dot print line. Oh, I did not call it an int. I just said I. Let's try that again. All right, so that's running correctly. That was that was a pretty quick one. Now we're on to Nitro four point two point eight. Replacing a while with a four. So let's first take a peek at what this program does if we run it. So x starts at 10, and as long as x is greater than 0, we're going to print out x. So we print out 10. And then we subtract 1 from x and store it back in x, so x is now 9. But 9 is still greater than 0, so it prints out 9. So that's going to print out all the numbers from 10 down to 1. So it seems like we should be able to do the same thing with starting a counter at 10 and going as long as the counter is greater than 0 and every time taking one away from the counter. And then system.out.println i. This should accomplish the exact same thing. So we got 10 through 1, 
and then we got 10 through 1. So I starts at 10, we print I, so we print 10. Then I goes down by 1. So it's still greater than 0, we print 9. We go down by 1, which means it's 8. It's still greater than 0, and we print 8, and so on. And then after we print 1, I goes down by 1 to 0, but now that I is 0, it is no longer greater than 0, so the loop stops. So that's replacing a while loop with a for loop, a little bit more compact and cleaner and easier to read. So on to Nitro 4.2.9, replacing a 4 with an, with a while. So this program is going from, with our counter going from 1 to less than or equal to 10, but adding 2 every time. So we're going to add 2 and go to 3, add 2 and go to 5, add 2 and go to 7, add 2 and go to 9. And then when we add 2 and go to 11, it's no longer less than or equal to 10. So it stops right there. So that's giving us the odd numbers from 1 to 9. So we could say int i equals 1. And then we could say while i is less than 10 system dot out dot print line i and then i minus equals two uh sorry plus equals two so that'll make it three five seven nine and then once we print the nine it increases i to 11 but then i will not be less than 10 anymore so this code will not run anymore so this should also get us the odd numbers 1 through 9. Okay, so that's it for that one. And then exercise 4.10, 4.0. Okay, so we want to print out the four times table. And we need to print out uh, 1 through 10. So let's have our int i start at 1 and go up to less than or equal to 10 and go up by 1 each time. And then let's do system.out.println the number 4 and a space and the times and a space. And then whatever number i is at the time, and then a space and an equal sign in a space, and then four times whatever i is, which I'm going to put in parentheses, four times i. And I think that's what we want that to look like. Double check over here. I think that's correct. I hope the spacing and everything is correct. All right, I think that's what we want there. So that's Nitro 4.2.10. Later on, I think we'll do a full blown multiplication table. But, anyways, that's it for Nitro 4.2. Pretty quick and easy.